Hello. I've lied to you. The title was total clickbait, but here you are, and now you have to listen to me. I, I have scammed you all. Okay, technically, it's not a lie. I have been on a journey for the past week, <laughs> finishing Nine Point, which, if you have been on our channel, it is a comic I've been working on for a while. I'm currently working on issue two, but it's a, it's a comic about cat knights. I've been working on it for a long time, and I am finally finishing up issue two, which I'm really, really excited about. I didn't think I would get here this year, in all honesty. <laughs> um, but basically, I have done a lot of comics in this past week. So I guess instead of saying, like, finishing a whole comic, because depending on how long your comic is, you're probably not going to be able to finish it in, like, a week. But... I've been able to finish 15-ish nine-point pages in the past week. Okay, not quite 15, um, 10 pages. So basically like a page and a bit every day. And it's been wild. I haven't been this productive on comics probably in at least a year. But yeah, but if you are looking to finish, say, a short comic or a chapter of your comic or just a large amount of pages in a short amount of time, I think I can tell you what I did and maybe it'll help you. So I've sort of lied to you. I hope you can forgive me and I hope you find this video helpful. So I've been on vacation from my day job. That is very important for how I've been able to get so many pages done so quickly um, because when I am working full time all day every day um, it is really hard to sit down and work on comics for a long amount of time because I'm tired. I work in a creative field so a lot of my creative brain has all been used up for the day. Um, that's not to say you can't continue to do creative work, even if you've done creative work earlier, but it definitely can leave you kind of tired by the end of the day. So I've had time off and it has allowed me to work on my comics for probably like four to eight hours every day. <laughs> which is not something sustainable. So if you're coming in and thinking like, yeah, that sounds great. I'm going to work on my comic for eight hours every single day. That's not going to happen, especially if you have like other stuff you got to do, like a, a job or school. Um, and it's not sustainable. I think you could probably do it for a short amount of time, but I think to expect it of yourself every day is a lot. And like I said, I'm not doing eight hours every single day. A lot of it I'm doing like two hours, four hours, sometimes it's spread out during the day, it's not all one sitting. But it it honestly has been nice to just take some time off and just focus on comics. It's, it's bringing me back to when I, I worked part-time. But yeah, so in my favor, I've had a lot of spare time to work on comics. Another thing in my favor is these comic pages already have work put into them. So a lot of these pages I've been working on for a long time, as you can see from like the channel, all the footage I've used of Nine Point. I've had, like at this point when I started, I at least had like the flat colors done and it took a while to get there. <laughs> um, so each of these pages has had work put into it already. So once again, I am lying to you. <laughs> By finishing, I mean, I'm finishing the pages. It's just not from a blank page to a finished page. I feel like this is kind of typical for my work. I feel like I'm like making excuses to you guys. I'm like, guys, listen, listen. <laughs> I lied to you, but not that bad. <laughs> um, but I, basically the way I work, I've talked about it before. I work in batches. So I'll usually do like, um, say I'll grab 10 pages and I'll do all the pencils for them. And then I'll do all the line art and then the coloring and then kind of finishing touches like I do it all kind of in rounds I'm so sorry if you can hear my dog crying she is a husky and she's throwing a tantrum but but right so I work in batches um it really helps me kind of focus on one element at a time so that I'm not jumping from like pencils to coloring to inking um because I can kind of like mess with my flow and I find I work faster when I work in batches um so that's really been helpful but yeah it helps me focus on one thing at a time and it goes quicker because I don't have to kind of switch modes while I'm working. So that has been working in my favor where in this round I'm just doing like shading. So I have all my flat colors down. I'm just working on like rendering the forms, doing backgrounds, things like that. Um, so I'm not jumping from like pencils to doing that. So that has made it a lot easier to kind of focus. Um, gets me in like a zone. So yeah. So that has really helped. And other things that have really helped me get a whole bunch of work done really, really quickly is that I made a progress chart to keep myself motivated. Bones made it. I've claimed ownership of this in the past, but Bones was actually the one who made this for me. It is a... 
shut up <laughs> um because i know you'd give me heck <laughs> Okay, uh, me too. So yeah, so I made a progress. I mean, Bones made a progress chart. <laughs> I have a progress chart that um, was made in Excel where basically I just have written down all the pages I need to finish. I've given them each a percentage value um, out of 100 on how complete I feel like it is. Um, and then totaled the percentages and then figured out like out of a hundred, how far am I? Um, so currently, as recording this video, I think I'm at 70% complete, and I have five pages left to finish. Um, but it's really helpful because it's it it can be a bit of a slog when you're working on a bunch of pages and like the percentage isn't going up because you have so many pages to work on. But as soon as like you get that little tick and it goes from like you know 50% to 52%, it's like yes. Yes, I could do it. So I highly recommend getting some kind of progress chart you can get instead of building one yourself because I know Excel spreadsheets is not for everyone. You can use like a website that just make, gives you like a progress tracking chart. Um, one Bones and I use is called My Write Club um, where you can just put in a project, you can count pages, you can count word count if say you're working on a script. Um, but that one's really good and automatic to help you track your progress and keep you motivated. The other thing I've been doing to keep myself on task is I have been semi-forced to keep myself accountable <laughs> with other people watching my work. Part of it is I have bones, so he's there to prod me with a stick. Oh my god, <laughs> he's here! But he's he, he will prod me and poke me whenever I'm not working and I'm supposed to be working. Um, he also will give me pep talks <laughs> um, and sit my butt down in a chair when I need to work. Um, so if you have someone close to you who you trust who's not going to just be rude to you, because it sounds like he's being rude, but he's being very supportive. So someone who will be supportive of you and push you to keep working even when you feel like you can't do it hire one of your friends to do this for you <laughs> and it could be someone working on their own project you could be in this together but yeah get someone in your life who will force you to do your work it's really helpful um on top of that bones has also been telling our discord server that i have to finish nine point by august 10th so i constantly get messages from like a bunch of people, mostly Charlie, <laughs> to get my comic done by August 10th. Um, and on top of that, uh, I've been streaming on Twitch pretty much every day um, for at least a couple hours working on Nine Point. Because um, again, just having eyes on me forces me to get my work done. I can't just sit and mess around on Twitter for hours when people are watching me. And it's also been fun. Streaming is really fun and you get to socialize while you do your work. So yeah. So streaming, having people know about my deadline has really helped. And finally, having a deadline has really helped. Because I can't just be like, well, I'll get as much as I can done this vacation. It's like, no, you got to get it done by August 10th or everyone will laugh at you. And now there's a video of me saying it's due on August 10th and we're going to be putting out like a nine point ebook. So I got to do it. The world knows. And I know it may be... Get it done. <laughs> she yelled. Sabina knows I gotta get it done. Um, it may be scary to tell the world or to tell your friends or whomever that you are going to finish a thing by a certain date because it's like, well, what if I don't do it? Well, you gotta do it now. You told people. <laughs> so if you really need that kick in the pants to get it done, <laughs> announce your project. Whether it's to your friends, whether it's to your social media, just people who will poke you whenever the deadline comes around. Definitely do it. Keeps you very accountable. That is how I've been able to get so many pages done so quickly. And I hope this will help you if you are in the same spot and you've got a bunch of pages that you just got to get done and you keep putting it off. Hopefully this helps. In other news, <laughs> we'll be releasing 9 Point Issue 2 on August 10th. I hope you are all excited. I'm excited. So that is this upcoming Monday. I hope you look forward to it. I'm looking forward to taking a break from 9 Point and working on... The magpie. So yes, the magpie will be returning as well. I don't know when we're going to start posting magpie again, but production will commence as soon as I'm done nine point. August 10th. Um, please can I get some August 10th chanting in the comments section? That would really help me. Um, and 
make sure to subscribe. All right, and I will be on Twitch today starting uh, probably when this video goes up. Uh, there should be a link in the description, and I'll see you guys there. Goodbye.